I don't know how to do this. <laughs> but it's on, so we're on, folks. But I'm, I just kind of wanted to give people a little time to get here. Okay, it's on. Got three minutes. What's up, Frazier? Can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Bill? Oh, Mimi's watching. Somebody let me know if you can hear me. Oh, good. Okay, good. Thank you, Bill. All right, we got a couple minutes. I'm just going to give some more people some time. I have two live people here with me. We're very distant from each other, practicing our social distancing. Plus, they said they, they didn't want to be on camera. I told them they were sissies. Hi, Tracy. My Bali friend is online with us. Yeah, we got seven people watching. I'm not supposed to touch your face. Have you done this before? <laughs> well, you look like you know what you're doing. I you know what I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Marsha. Marsha, you're probably not working. You're a librarian, and libraries are closed. I, I wanted my mom to get logged on. She's got one minute. I don't know. Maybe mom is there. She probably doesn't know how to tell me she's there. All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Um... So I'm going to pretend like there's some people that are watching that have never done yoga. So my rules for yoga are there are no rules <laughs> um, to always please tune into and listen to your body. Nothing should hurt. Anything that causes pain, please stop doing. Um, only move in ways that feel right or good in your body. Um, and just because I say to do something doesn't mean you have to do it. If you wanna take a break, if you wanna just hang out and watch, you do that. You do what works for you. Um, so the flow of the class is gonna be, we'll do some centering, we'll do some breathing, we'll warm up, we'll move, and then we'll do some um, relaxation and meditation at the end. So let's start. So it's best to have a chair that doesn't have arms. If you have arms on your chair at home, break them off. Oh, no, don't break your chair. Uh, <laughs> find a chair that doesn't have arms. Or you can just figure a way to work around the arms on your chair. I've got a beautiful folding chair. It's also ideal if your feet can touch flat on the earth. Um, so Judy's here, Linda's here, they say hi, hi. from a distance. <laughs> yeah, they're waving. Um, all right, so let's just take a minute to get centered. So bring your ankles under the knees, shoulders over the hips, lengthen the spine, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling as you let your shoulders melt down away from your ears. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Welcome yourself to this practice, to this next hour where we get to escape the craziness of our world right now. This next hour to practice being present right here, right now, in this moment, in this body, Letting everything else, all the worries, all the fears, fall to the side. This time to focus on ourselves is vital, especially 
during all this madness. We must take breaks for ourselves. Take a minute to connect with your breath. Just notice your breath. No need to change it at this time. Just notice it, feel it. Feel the cool air coming in through the nose, the warm air leaving the nose. invite people to set an intention for their practice. So that is any quality or characteristic that you would like to invite more of into your life. So these days it might be health, peace, love, patience, forgiveness, whatever quality you'd like to have a little bit more present in your life. Call that to your mind now. We're going to hold that intention closed throughout the practice. So we'll take some Durga breath or three-part breathing. I invite you to bring one hand to the low belly, one hand to the heart center, We're going to take some long, slow inhales and exhales. So go ahead and let your breath out. And on your inhale, feel the belly expand, ribs expand, heart lifts, slight pause. Exhale, heart, ribs, belly draws in slightly. Pause and relax it all. Inhale, belly, ribs. Heart, pause, exhale, heart, ribs, belly draws in, relax, inhale, keep up with that long, elongated breath, we'll take a few rounds in quiet. keeping the mind focused on that breath. the hands back to your lap. And maybe just take a minute to scan the body, noticing if you've got any tender spots or stress lingering any place. Just notice it without judgment. Maybe also scan the mind. Maybe the mind has quieted a little bit, even just with that breath work we did. Also take a minute to notice your spirit. How's your spirit today? Noticing without judgment. Good, and gently blink open your eyes. And maybe you scoot a little bit forward in your chair. Maybe not. You do what works for you. But we're going to interlace the fingers and extend the fingers straight out in front. And then on an inhale, we're going to lift the arms up over the head. And then we're just going to play with bending one elbow and then the other. Just loosening up the shoulders and the triceps. Spine is long and straight. 
belly drawn in. Chin lifted. the arms down, shake them out a little bit. And then we're going to take the right hand to the left knee, the left hand to the right knee. You'll find that I often forget my left from my right, and that's okay. All right, so we're going to take that left arm and extend it straight out to a diagonal, maybe back a little bit. The gaze follows that left hand. And then on an exhale, we're going to bring it, place it under that right arm. And then inhale, the right arm extends up and back. Exhale, it comes under that left arm. And that's our flow, so we're just gonna flow like that. Inhale, expand. Exhale, draw it in. Right arm extends. It comes under that left flow. A few more times on your own. Can you all hear the overhead pages? <laughs> the health department's calling. Good, let's take one more to each side. Good. Come on back to neutral. We're going to take the arms wide. And on an inhale, we're going to arch the back a little bit, draw the palms back so the shoulder blades are really squeezing together. So that's our inhale. And our exhale, we're going to scoop out the belly, round to the back, that palms touch in front. And that's our flow. We're just kind of warming up the spine, warming up the arms. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale. I can hear my live people breathing, so that's a good thing. Let's take one more. Good, come back to neutral. All right, so let's bring our fingers to our shoulders and let's just make some circles backwards with the elbows. It's kind of like giving yourself a massage, right? Good, let's go forwards. behind the head and we're going to kind of work that flexion and inflection of the spine again so on an inhale we draw the elbows back exhale round the back scoop out the belly elbows come together by the head inhale arch exhale round inhale arch exhale round neutral and let's just take some shoulder rolls backwards. All that tension tends to linger in our neck and our shoulders so we're working those heavy today. I don't know about you guys but <laughs> there's a lot of stress out there right now. And let's go forward with the shoulders. 
Pay attention to the shoulder blades. Really try to move those shoulder blades. And now we'll do a little twist. So interlace the fingers again behind the head. We're gonna keep the hips where they are, but we're gonna twist to the right and twist to the left. So maybe we inhale to the right and exhale to the left. So yoga is all about connecting the breath with our movement, and that can sometimes be the most challenging part when we're new to yoga. That's what calms our central nervous system is when we connect that breath with the movement. Focusing on the breath. Maybe calling to mind the intention that you set at the beginning of practice. Good, one more to each side. And relax. So we're gonna take a little side bend so that right hand can hold on to the chair. We're gonna inhale that left arm up by the left ear. Lift up and then over to a side bend to the right. And we're gonna do some moving here. So the torso stays where it is, but we're just gonna make some big circles with that left arm. Good, then reverse the circles to go the other way. My shoulder is grinding a little. Good, come on, back up to center. Inhale the right arm up by the right ear. Left hand grabs your chair. We're gonna take a side bend over to the left. And big circles. Slow, even breath. Your breath is always your barometer. If you're not able to get a good breath, back out of the pose a little bit. Good, switch the direction of your circles. Good, come on back up. So we're gonna do another side stretch Let's take that side stretch over to the right again. We're gonna take that left arm out to a diagonal and this will be our flow. So inhale up by the left ear, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Two more. Keep that left hip rooted into your chair. Good, come on up. The right arm up by the right ear. Side bend over to the left. And then our flow, so the right arm comes down. Inhale up by the right ear. Exhale, it lowers. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Come on up. All right, let's do some, we'll do our, my traditional sun salutations. So we're gonna do, I don't know, three or four. We'll see how we feel. You're my counter. Count, count, you can count. So let's inhale both arms up by the ears. And on an exhale with a flat back, we're gonna come all the way to a forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Hands can come up to the shins. We're gonna to inhale to halfway lift. The crown of the head reaches straight out in front. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, that right arm's gonna come out and to the side and up to the ceiling. Exhale, it lowers. Inhale, left arm out and up. Exhale, it lowers. Inhale, arms wide, flat back. Palms touch and draw down to heart center. Let's do three more of those. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. And hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. We're building some heat here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all right, arm up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm up. Maybe the gaze follows, maybe not. <laughs> Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. All right, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for this one. Same thing. Hands can stay in prayer or settle on your lap. Lower your gaze. Connect with the breath. Notice maybe the heart's beating a little faster. Maybe you're starting to feel warm. Maybe call to mind again your intention. So we're going to lift that right knee up off the mat and just open it off the mat. We're not on mats. Off the ground. Just kind of open and close that right hip. And then we're going to come into um, pigeon or figure four in the chair. So the left ankle, right ankle crosses over the left knee. If that's too much, you can cross the right ankle over the left knee. You do what works for you and your body. Right foot stays flexed. Perfect posture. Maybe a little gentle pressure down on that right knee. If you're here and you're not feeling much, you can draw that right ankle closer into your left hip crease. That should intensify that stretch a little bit. Play with it, figure out what works in your body today. Just breathe here. Keep that right foot flexed. Option to stay upright, or you can come onto forearms. A little bit more intense is to drape the torso over uh, the legs. If there's no competition in yoga, you worry about, it's easier with Facebook Live because you can't see what anybody, nobody else can see you, you can't see yes, them. <laughs> so you go where you wanna go, nobody else cares. Connect with that slow, deep, even breath. If you're folded over nice and slow, like, gradually work your way back up. A little counter stretch, that left hand grabs that right knee and draws it towards that left shoulder. Twisting a little bit to the right. It's a little counter stretch for that right hip. Yeah, we all struggle with left and right. It's hard. All right, relax out. Bring both legs center. Maybe jumping them around a little bit. Notice the difference between that right hip and the left hip, right? Yeah. All right, other side. Oh, no, we got to do this first. Yeah. So we're going to loosen up that left hip. Just open and close that left knee. the left ankle over the right knee or left ankle over the right ankle. It can be done this way too. Then you're just doing a little gentle pressure. 
Go to wherever you're feeling a little sensation in that left hip. Good, so that left foot is flexed. Perfect posture, gentle pressure down on that left knee. Again, remembering nothing should hurt. Just some stretching sensation. Again, stay here if you're feeling it. There's always the option to draw that left heel towards the left right hip crease. Good. Option to stay upright, forearms, or drape. You do what works. Focusing on those slow, deep breaths. If you're folded over nice and easy, bring it up. And then the right hand grabs that left knee and we take a little counter stretch for that left hip. So we're drawing the left knee to the right shoulder. My Fitbit is telling me I need to move, but I'm sitting still for too long. <laughs> Uncross, again, shake out those feet and legs. All right, so cross that right knee over the left if that works for you. You can do this with the knees not crossed if you want. And then we're gonna take the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder. Option to stay here if this feels good. If you wanna take it further, you can bring the backs of the hands together or the full twist where the palms are touching. You do what works for you. We're gonna lift the elbows a little bit wherever you are. If the hands are on the shoulders, leave them there. If the palms are touching or the backs of the hands are touching, see what it feels like to move the hands away from your face. That's gonna intensify the stretch in the shoulders. And maybe you take a little bit of a forward fold here. Inhale back up, release the arms, and recross the legs the other way. So the left knee crosses over the right, and this time the left hand to the left shoulder, so the right elbow is under the left this time, or the opposite of whatever you did before. <laughs> Good. Stay here, giving yourself a big squeeze, or backs of the hands can touch, or palms touch. Relax the shoulders, breathe into the middle of your back and between your shoulder blades. Maybe the elbows lift, maybe the hands move away from the face. Maybe you find a little forward fold here, maybe not. the arms, uncross the legs. Now this one's going to be hard if you're in a chair with arms, but if you're not, swing the knees all the way over to the right of your chair. And we're just going to take a little twist here. So the, we're going to twist towards the back of the chair. The hands grab the chair, but the hips stay squared to the side of the room. Relax the shoulders, draw the low belly in to protect the low back, and breathe. Good. Gently untwist. And we're going to move into warrior one from here. So options. I like to kind of let my left butt cheek hang off the chair a little bit. Options are to open that left knee up 
just like that and stay here. Or you can see what it feels like to extend that left leg straight back. Yeah. So we want the hips to stay square towards that right knee. So if that's too hard with the leg straight, go ahead and bend that left knee. Do what works for you. And then we're gonna inhale one or both arms up. So you can always kind of hold on to the chair with that right hand and, and lift the left arm. Maybe you're lifting both. Breathe, beautiful. Yeah, that left leg can stay bent, that's fine. So you can always play with rising up off the chair here if you're an overachiever. Focus on your deep, even breaths. Good, now we're gonna open it up into warrior two. So the hips are gonna come forward. That back foot is at a, a 90 degree angle. We're gonna inhale the arms up and gaze out over those right fingertips. Warrior two, feel your strength. Reach in both directions with those fingers. Relax the shoulders down. Beautiful. Maybe call to mind your intention. Maybe make a muscle, show how strong you are. <laughs> Good, relax it all, bend that left knee if it's straight. And we're gonna take that on the other side. So let's swing the legs all the way around to the left. Now maybe that right butt cheek is hanging off the chair. <laughs> and we're gonna open that right knee. Did we do something first? No, we twisted first, that's what that's we did. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna keep both knees to the left. I think we missed something. All right, and then we're gonna to twist towards the back of the chair here, twisting to the left. Belly drawn in, spine long and straight. The hips are not joining us. This is coming from the spine. out of your twist. Now we'll take warrior one and warrior two. So that right knee can come forward or it extends back. It can stay bent in the back too. That works fine. So the hips are square towards that left knee. Just flatten that foot. And inhale one arm or both. You do what works for you. Relax the shoulders down. Find your slow, steady breath. So that's the beauty of yoga is that even in these stressful poses, we learn to breathe, to regulate ourselves, to relax. So that when we're in line at the store trying to buy toilet paper, and people are coughing on us. <laughs> we can try to breathe and relax. Good, open it up to warrior two. So the hips now square towards the front of the chair. The arms are up at the shoulders and gaze out over your left fingertips. Breathe. Connect with your inner warrior. take some, some head rolls or neck rolls. So we're just gonna bring the right ear to the right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder, and right back up to neutral. Let's take three more in this direction. Good. 
then reverse your circles. Four circles, left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder. Maybe you're finding some spots along the way and you wanna hang out there, work it out, go for it. neutral. So let's take some body circles. So maybe the knees come to a little bit of a wide angle. Toes are going in the same direction as the knees. And we're just going to take the torso and make some big old circles. Maybe you lean it back. Big circles with the torso. Spine stays long and straight. Keep that low belly engaged because this is a little bit of core work here. So option to leave the knees just the way they are, or you can extend the legs straight. We're going to take a forward fold with our legs at a wide angle. So that might look like this with the head hanging. It might look like this. If you have a book or a yoga block at home, you can take that to support you. You bring the forearms to the block, legs straight options, figure out what your body needs in this moment. But wherever you are, scan that body again and notice if there's any place that you can relax just a little bit more. So we're going to come forward to a diagonal, or you can go all the way down. Yeah, maybe that's whew, an overachiever. Do what works. Relax. Let's take a little back bend. 
So options here are to reach back and grab the back of your chair. Maybe I'll turn sideways so you can see more what I'm doing. And then maybe you just lean forward. So that's opening up the heart center. Stay here if that feels good in your body. Or you can take more of a bridge pose where your hands are on the chair and you're lifting the hips up off the chair. Again, there's no right, there's no wrong. You do what works best for you. You got it. Judy's trying it. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't fall off your chair. <laughs> Good. So if we're spending a lot of time on our computers or phones, this is a great heart opener. Great one to do if you're spending too much time hunched over. It's the opposite of what we spend most of our time doing. Good. Relax out. And let's come on up to stand. Let's stand to the side of our chair. Is it, is it warm? We're warm in here, I think. It's freaking hot. It's hot. It's not just warm, it's hot, she says. All right, so we're going to stand next to our chair for this tree pose. <laughs> we're doing hot yoga here at the clinic. All right, so we're going to stand next to the chair. It doesn't matter which side. But that foot that's closest to the chair, you're going to really root down through the four corners. So that's big toe mound, little toe mound, inner and outer heel. Imagine there's roots growing down into your floor. That hand holds onto the chair. Find a little spot to stare at on the earth in front of you. Keep your gaze there. We're going to open that outside leg so that that knee's pointed out to the side. So we're gonna start in kickstand. So that right foot, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see my feet. That right foot's just kind of acting as a kickstand. And maybe you hang out here. Maybe you stay holding on. Maybe you bring that foot to the, left, the calf. Holding on or not. Or maybe you bring that sole of the foot all the way up to the thigh. Keep your gaze fixed on your spot. That can really help with balance. And imagine drawing everything into the midline. So that foot presses into the leg, leg presses into the foot. That's all gonna give you stability here. Stay holding on, or if you want to grow your branches, lift them up over the head. Maybe they nice and slow, grow out. Back to prayer. Good, maybe you're holding on to the chair now, but we're gonna bring that right knee forward and lower it with control. Shake out that leg you were standing on. <coughs> and then we're going to switch to the other side. So foot closest to the chair, roots down, all four corners of that foot rooted down. Find your drishti, your little spot to stare at. That outside leg, knee kicks out to the side. Kickstand, calf or thigh, your choice. We'll never know what you're doing at home. Just don't hurt yourself. Good, breathe. These balancing poses are great for focus. Great to get our mind off of. Lots to stop. Lots of stuff. Good, let's grow our branches if you feel like it. Otherwise, keep holding on to that chair. Nice and slow, get it out. Back to prayer. Good, maybe we hold on to the chair. Left knee comes forward. 
relaxes down. Let's take a little downward facing dog with our chair. So we're gonna keep the hands on the back of the chair. We're gonna kind of make uh, an L with our body. So most important here is lots and lots of length in the spine. So really reach the hips back, the arms forward. Maybe you need a little bend in your knees here, that's perfect. More concerned about the length of the spine than the legs being straight. Hang out here and breathe. chair and take a little forward fold here. So let's inhale both arms up by the ears and on an exhale we're going to hinge at the waist to come to a forward fold so the hands can land on a chair, head drops, maybe the forearms land on the chair and the head drops. Maybe the hands go to the earth and the head rests on the chair. You do what works for you. Maybe you don't use the chair at all and you take your forward fold. And maybe you even reach up with that right hand and give the left shoulder, left neck a little massage. Drop the chin right down to the chest. And gently lift 
the chin back up. Maybe come to the edge of your seat again. We're going to inhale both arms up by the ears. We're going to take a breath in here and on an exhale, we're going to let it all flow down. Inhale it back up. Exhale, let it all go. Inhale back up. Sigh it out the mouth. Let it all go. Two more. And relax. All right, so let's take our, um, oh, actually, let's do one more thing. So sit back in your chair. If you've got glasses on, you might want to take them off. We're just going to do a night. No, you can never get your hands warm, can you? So we're just going to rub our hands together till you feel some heat. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, it up, up. Like you're washing your hands, because we haven't been doing much of that, have we? Rub, rub, rub. And then when you feel some heat going, just cup the hands over the eyes. Relax the shoulders. Maybe the thumbs massage the temples just a little bit. Maybe not. Even as the heat fades away, lower the hands, and we'll take our Shavasana, our final resting pose. So this can be done seated. You're welcome to lie down on the floor, or if you're near a table or a desk, you can rest your head. But go ahead and make any final wiggles, movements, adjustments to make yourself completely comfortable. And we will relax. So lower the gaze or close your eyes. And just like we did at the beginning of the class, I invite you to scan the body, noticing if anything has shifted, adjusted, changed. Again, noticing that without judgment. Noticing what's going on in your mind. Are you staying present here in this deep relaxation? And what's going on with your spirit? And then just take a minute to notice everywhere that your body is coming in contact with either the floor, the chair, both. And imagine melting into those supports for us. Melt into those supports. Let the body fully relax. Like you're on a sponge and you can just melt into it. And then Keep the mind focused on the breath. Maybe focus the mind on the tip of the nose and feel the air coming in through the nose and out through the nose. And I'm going to read a poem by Donna Ashworth. She says, history will remember when the world stopped and the flights stayed on the ground and the cars parked in the street and the trains didn't run. History will remember when the schools closed and the children stayed indoors and the medical staff walked towards the fire and they didn't run. 
history will remember when the people sang on their balconies in isolation, but so very much together in courage and song. History will remember when the people fought for their old and their weak, protected the vulnerable by doing nothing at all. History will remember when the virus left and the houses opened and the people came out and hugged and kissed and started again, kinder than before. I'll have a couple minutes of silence and then I'll cue you out. Each time the mind comes in and asks for your attention, just gently bring your focus back to your breath. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. And as you're ready, reach the legs out, the arms up like we did before. Give yourself a big stretch in both directions like you're just waking up. it all back down, keeping the gaze lowered or the eyes closed, press the palms together in front of the heart center as our gesture, our symbol of closing this practice. Thank yourself for showing up on your chair today. Maybe for trying something new that you haven't done before. We express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving, for moving as perfectly as they did. Call to mind again your intention, inviting that quality to manifest itself in your life this week. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace because it's also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste.
Hi, Jeff. Hi, Lori. Chrissy. Jill. Jill. Oh, she's at home. Hi, Jill. Chris. Katie. Cat. Oh, Cat's watching from Amsterdam. Hi, Cat. I met Cat in Bali, too. Did your mom on there? I know. I'm trying to see if my mom. Brad, what's up, dude? D. Hi, D. I miss you. Dana. Woo! Amy. Hi, Amy. Lenny. Lenny says, I knocked my iPad over with the circles. <laughs> with the arm circles? <laughs> Funny. Lori. Kelly. Yolanda. Mary. Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Lucy used to work here. Chris. Chris. I wonder if my mom didn't get on. John. Hi, John. Donna. Mary. Greg. Amy. Chloe. Chloe watched. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> Debbie. Yeah, you know, Teresa. Kelly. I know. I'll do. I'll do it from yeah, home. I'm gonna do it from home. Yeah. All right, guys. I love you. Namaste. Well, thanks for the